Today we're going to do an organic cold press to shop tour. If you guys don't know, this is our shop. I'm Jordan. Behind the camera is Lauren. We're called JK Juices. You can follow us on Instagram if you want to see more goodies. We document everything here on YouTube and all sorts of stuff. So, so you walk in the door. First we have our display fridge. We've got the juice, all the goodies. We've got a bunch of variety, a variety of juices. So yeah, that's that. This guy we have made just out of a local sign shop, which is pretty nice. And if you can't tell, we like plants. So we have plants everywhere. So many plants. This is a new addition. It's just a little table. We have some plans for it. Stay tuned. Subscribe to see what those are. They're fun plants. We've got a little seating area. Some people sit down, some people don't. Most of the time it's just kind of grab and go. People grab their juice and get out of here. But these are little tables, radiator cover. We didn't want a whole lot of CD and we found it kind of unnecessary since all of our products are pretty quick grab and go. We are in downtown as well, so not a lot of hanging out. More plants, awesome grow light, which is uh, really important for the plants. That's linked below if you want to grab a grow light. It's from a company called Soltec Solutions, and we have a discount code with them too. So once a customer grabs their juice, they choose what they want, they come over here to check it out. We went with the Square Register, which is a, a unit from Square that is pretty nice actually. They've got a little display checkout thing for the peeps so they can easily see and then they can chip and swipe their own cards. We really love this system um, and also their reports that they have internal, you can go onto the website and just see everything. It's a great system. Highly recommend that. Behind the counter we just have a little fridge for samples and all right, we're gonna work our way back to the kitchen now. So back here, if you're wondering, our shop size is 750 square feet around there. Um, we've got a good circle layout. So it starts with our, our produce kind of fridges, which are these guys, these guys, and this guy over here. In here, which is kind of like a little storage room, but also like um, a fridge room. Chemical room. We've got our mop sink and all sorts of other things. This is our produce wash sink, which is required by the health department. It has an air gap in the plumbing in case there's ever backflow. A faucet, yes. <laughs> so we've got a faucet for washing, but then this has a filter connected to it. And so this is um, drinking water and water for our nut milks and other kind of lemonade things. This is, was already here when we got the shop. It's a to-go window, but we are not allowed to use it by the city, which really sucks. Um, but it lets in nice air, so that's great. Some storage for bottles, hand wash sink, that's required by the health department. Um, this is our juicing station, so we've got a X1 mini and a big X1. Um, depending on what the juicing day looks like, we use whichever one suits better. So the mini we do for our daily output, fridge, stocking the fridge. The big X1 we do for big cleanse events, and anytime we have to juice 500 juices in a day, like a ton of juices. Um, that's what we use the big X1 for. So we really like having two juicers. Obviously it's more of an investment, but it works really well and it's quite reliable as it, in case one were to go out um, and we would need a new part or whatever it may be, you know, machinery. Um, it's nice to have two. So we really love this setup. We've got another little table here for working, for prepping. We use this mainly for bottling and making donuts and all sorts of stuff. So you gather your produce, you wash your produce, you juice it, and then you clean everything. So we've got a dishwasher from Ecolab. We rent this from them. It's like a hundred and something dollars a month. It's great because we reuse our bottles and sanitize those in the dishwasher. So that saves us a lot of time and labor hours. The dishwasher obviously costs money, but it is such a luxury and it's uh, pretty cheap actually, hundred and something. I think it's like 117 a month. A lot of people think that's an HPP machine. Not an HPP machine. We do not HPP. I get comments on that quite a bit. So then we have our three compartment sink. This is required by the health department. The dishwasher is not required by the health department. Ours views it as, you know, reusing the bottles just like we were a restaurant and we were to reuse this. We would wash, rinse, and sand it just like normal. The dishwasher is just a luxury. So before we got that, we would just wash and sand in here. And then we've got clean um, bottles and things storage. So dish racks for bottles, all of the equipment needed, and labels for all the juices. So this is all kind of in one area. We've got a small office, which is the perfect size. 
Okay, sorry that abruptly cut off. Um, it's the following day. If you're wanting to open a juice shop, highly recommend you check out my eBooks, How to Open a Juice Shop and How to Start a Juice Truck. Um, both are all-in-one guides on starting this kind of juice business, whichever category you're going into. So, tons of great info in there, so be sure to check those out. Link is in the des description box below. I'll put it as the first link, so it's easy to find. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye. Okay. Wow, it looks really good. Okay, cool. So, all new lighting. Nope, we haven't painted. This was fixed up here, which looks a lot better. And then, like you guys saw, we needed to get some more FRP because we have to put all the FRP right here for the sink. I remember See here This is what we needed to get the new tile for And the one we got is Pretty close Oh yeah, actually you probably won't even be able to tell Cause this is awesome Menards And it was on mega sale too Yeah Right We looked a couple of times and we were like Make sure we're not missing it And then we just stumbled across this And Alrighty guys, we've got them all pressed. So we've got our strong green like recipe which has that fennel and cucumber. We've got the grapefruit one, we've got our snap, we've got our charcoal lemonade, our celery, and the protein shake. Today I am having a celery juice. What? I know. Are you really? Yeah, I are, well I grabbed it. And then I was like, do I really want this? in the fridge. I <laughs> No, I saw them. But this just spoke to me. I don't know why, but it was like, drink me! Uh, I'm gonna go through all the chapters in the book so you can kind of have an idea. This is all on the website too. And you can see all the details there. The link to buy this book is in the description box below. Okay, 
all the chapters. First, you're going to get the instructions, which kind of just tell you about how all the links in the book are clickable, and I link YouTube videos that correspond to the topic. So, um, startup costs. So we're going to go over um, how much it costs, what you can expect, different categories, how to finance. So how to even pay for this thing. Got a couple options. Um, choosing a location, really important. Got to choose a good location for your juice bar. That's a huge part of it succeeding. The build out. So working with contractors, architects, um, what you're going to deal with as far as blueprints and submitting plans, all of that. We talk about the full build out. Licensed professionals. So CPAs, people you're going to want to hire.